I just want to move to the uh, the other side of the ball as well here. Uh, Patriots defense versus the Texans offense, and uh, they, they've got uh, rookie Deshaun Watson making his second start uh, of the of the season for the Texans. Uh, they haven't really been able to move the ball very well on offense. Uh, the running backs, Lamar Miller and Deonta Foreman, had an okay uh, day against uh, the Bengals last week on Thursday night. But then again, it's tough to judge offenses on Thursday night uh, because of the short week. I guess, well, what do you think, uh, uh, how, how do you think the Patriots defense matches up with uh, the Texans? Yeah, I think the Patriots defense has struggled a, a little, a little bit, maybe not as much. I personally thought they were pretty decent against the Saints, even though the Saints did get the yardage, the Patriots stepped up on third down. They made plays when they needed to. Um, this is obviously the easiest matchup that they've had so far. So they could end up looking fairly dominant in this game. Um, from what I've seen of Houston, they just, it looks a lot like last year. They're basically force feeding DeAndre Hopkins targets and the Patriots have historically done pretty well against Hopkins. They bracketed him um, in, in games that they've played before using Logan Ryan and then a safety over the top kind of just basically double teaming him across the field, asking anybody else to beat them. And the Texans didn't have anybody else, or Brock Osweiler couldn't get the ball to anyone else to, to win those those matchups. So right now, I would expect probably Stephon Gilmore to take Hopkins, and then probably for this, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They'll probably just use the same plan they've used against Hopkins in, in the past couple of years and have it safety helping on, on Stephon Gilmore there. And then the, the running game for the Texans. I mean, I'm in the camp that I think Deontay Foreman should just be the starter for them because I've just been unimpressed with Lamar Miller whenever I've watched him, really, and I know they gave him a big contract and that sometimes dictates who plays and who doesn't, but he doesn't. He hasn't really given them much in the running game, and I think if the Texans are going to have an offense that's good enough to make the playoffs this year, they're going to have to be better running the ball because you got to be realistic about what the passing offense is. Like they have a rookie quarterback, and they have one very good receiver and basically not much else. So they've, they've got to run the ball. And we saw Foreman play a lot more in that week two game. I think he only had one snap in week one. And then he had 10, 11, 12 carries in week two. I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of him and to see the Texans try to really establish the run against the Patriots because the, a team like Can Kansas City ran it pretty well on the Patriots. I don't, New Orleans didn't necessarily, but you want to keep the ball away from Brady in the offense, so I think that they'll try to run it, and we'll see if they have success or not. Yeah, I mean, I think they kind of have to try to run it, considering uh, Deshaun Watson at this point in his career is pretty limited as to what he can do. Uh, they, I mean, I think he, he could be a good quarterback in the future, but right now he's young. I don't think he knows 100% how to make all of his reads yet. And so last week against the Bengals, they gave him a ton of just really quick, uh, instantaneous reads. They saw it. They, we almost lost you there. It's windy. There's it, it, uh, a lot of it was the hurricanes off the, off the shore. But uh, um, we saw DeAndre Hopkins get a lot of quick reads off of the uh, off the line of scrimmage. Uh, we saw um, Adam Jones almost pick off Deshaun Watson a couple times on those reads because he would just kind of take one look and be like, okay, I've got soft coverage, and you just throw it out there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, the defense just read it. Uh, then the, uh, for another thing, the Texans' offensive line is very bad. They they gave up 10 sacks to the Jacksonville Jaguars, which the that's, Jaguars yeah. could be a, a decent defense, but 10 sacks, that's, that's not good. And so that's what, probably why they have Watson playing quarterback right now is because they need someone that can move away from, from those point. sacks. Yeah. Tom Savage can't get out of there, and so they need someone that will be okay on the run. Sean Watson showed it last week when he was uh, when he scored, I think it was a 49-yard touchdown or something like that on yeah. 3rd and 15. 53 yards 53, or something. 53, yeah. um, but he, he took off down the sideline. He's a great athlete, and uh, he can he can make some plays in, in while scrambling, but um, as, as far as uh, a thrower, I mean, he, I don't think he, he knows the offense well enough yet. I don't think he knows how to make his reads well enough yet to uh, be an effective passer. So um, the passing game, uh, if you cover DeAndre Hopkins, you'll probably be fine. And then if you uh, look to stop the run, you look to contain Deshaun Watson in the pocket and make him throw the ball, mm -hmm. you'll probably be fine. Yeah. So uh, I would imagine the, the Texans offense is not going to have too much success uh, against the, uh, the Patriots. Uh, and then I think the defense will be fine, I mean, especially if Dante Hightower comes back. Yeah.